Oh yeah, welcome back to the channel. So we're up here at our broth today, uh, fishing a competition today, which should be quite good fun. So we've got about another hour and a half until the comp starts. So we've walked out to our mark. Uh, I've got the rod and stuff down there. I'll take you back down there in a minute and have a look. But um, yeah, I'm sure some of you will recognize where we are. We're up on the Arbroath Cliffs. So coastal pass just up here. So we've walked down this ledge behind us and uh, yeah, just walked down onto a little ledge uh, on the water down there. So we've uh, yeah, got a little bit of a while to wait before we can get the baits in the water. Uh, but fishing is three o'clock till nine o'clock today. So we're fishing the outgoing tide. Uh, high tide is at 2.30. So um, yeah, fishing starts at three and then low tide is about 8.30. So we'll yeah, fish the whole of the outgoing tide. Um, yeah, got a load of mixture of baits with us today. We've got some cart, some mackerel, bluey, lug, squid, all sorts of stuff. Um, so yeah, just gonna keep throwing stuff out there and see if anything's biting. So hopefully we can get some fish to take back to the weigh-in later on this evening. Um, good prize money today, so thousand pounds for heaviest fish. So it'd be nice if we could take that home. Uh, there's also heaviest bag as well. So yeah, see if we can get something uh, to take back down with us later on. Um, I'll take you through the rigs and everything I'm gonna be using today. Um, show you the rod, uh, which we're using, reel and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks like a nice evening. We've got a bit of a lazy swell going on today. Could have done with a little bit more color in the water, but um, yeah, it's still so warm. It's uh, just uh, 2nd of November now, and uh, I think it was like 13 degrees when we got here. So yeah, way too warm for this time of year. We could do with it being a lot colder, but uh, not, not to worry. Nice to be out in the fresh air, and yeah, at least it's not raining. So anyway, let's uh, head back down there now and uh, start getting everything set up, ready to go um, at three o'clock. Right, so this is the rig we're going to be using today. So starting off at the bottom there, we've got a six ounce gripper onto a Trident Tackle Thermalink and a Trident Tackle Roto bait clip. That then goes all the way through to a bead, Trident Tackle Aero Pulley and then another bead, Trident Tackle Thermalink, Power Swivel, and then comes right down to a perfection loop with a Verivas uh, 60 circle on there. Don't know if you can see that. Um, and then the dongle on the bottom there as well. So yeah, running the dongle today, see if we can get some good hookups on that. Um, this is the same um, uh, strength braking or braking strain all the way through. It's about 80 pound, I think it is, all the way through. Um, don't know what the ground's like here. So if we start to get snagged up between this black roto here and the um, uh, metal onto the, onto the actual weight, I will probably put a bit of 30 pound mono as a bit of a weak link. Um, if we start to get snagged up. So, but I'm just gonna run it straight like that for now and see what happens. So once we've got it all baited up, I'll show you what it looks like with the, um, with the bait on the dongle. We've got about half an hour to go. I'm just having a bit of a good old super noodles. We've got a knife and fork, or we've got a fork, so I'm happy to use a little bit of uh, grip wire. Just give it all a bit of a stir and makeshift little fork. Um, but yeah, about to, hoof this down and then we'll get some baits on the hook and then we'll be ready to go. So getting a little bit colder now, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. We've got a good bit of swell going on. So yeah, feeling confident. Hopefully we can get a fish. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have something to eat and then uh, go and feed the fish. Right, so three o'clock, we're ready to get this first bait in. So I just thought I'd show you, um, this is a WHA cod bomb, which we've got on here. Now what I like to do is I've got the dongle on the back and I like to put a bit of squid on first. Um, you see that there, so a little bit of um, squid on the back and I just find that that gives it something nice and tough for the um, uh, braid on the dongle to bite into. Um, and then yeah, we've just got the nice little circle hook with a good proud point. So let's get this cast out there. This one is a bit of um, cart, black lug, squid and a bit of maki. So yeah, good old cocktail on there. So let's just get this cast out. No idea where I'm going here. No idea if I'm gonna get snagged up, but we'll just uh, figure it out as we go along. Ooh. Slippy on these rocks. Right, there we go, we're fishing. Try and keep this rod up nice and high because there's a bit of a ledge out in front of us there. Maybe not quite that high though. Right, 
There we go. Let's see if we can catch anything. Well, that's the first bait back and uh, as you can see, there's not much left of it. I got quite a good bite, but uh, then got snagged up. So yeah, I think it managed to get away with the bait on that one. So we'll get another one out there. It's a good, good sign, first cast within about five minutes, um, got a bite. So um, yeah, we'll get another bait put on there and get it put back out, same spot. There we go, first fish. 40 centimeters that one so that's uh, good enough uh, good enough to take back home for the weigh-in nice fish good bite that one let's get another bait out oh uh, that's a good sign uh, bite on the first cast and then a, a fish a keeper fish on the second cast so we've got the third bait out there now we're only 50 minutes into the comp so uh, yeah good to get a fish of size before it's even got dark so hoping um, once the uh, darkness sets in, we might have a bit more chance of uh, getting another decent sized fish or a better sized fish, should we say. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if that fish was sized there, so I had to run up the rocks to my tackle box to put it against the tape, but yeah, 40 centimeters, so that's good. 35 is the legal limit, so nice bit over. Anyway, I'm gonna go back and watch this rod for a bit, bring you back if we get something else. Well, that bait's been out there for about 15 minutes now, and it's that awkward point where I had a couple of little knocks early on when that bait first went in, and now it's all gone a bit quiet. So is there still a bait on there? Has it been stripped? I'm not sure. So I think I'm going to bring this one in and uh, get a fresh bait on there and uh, yeah, see if we can get something else. Just getting quite a few bites for a while, so we've had a bite every cast so far. Um, hopefully this isn't snagged. No, luckily not snagged. So yeah bite every cast which is good um, yeah we need to get some bigger fish for that bag did get quite a good knock on the on this one within about two or three minutes so let's have a look and see I suspect yeah it's looking like it's been stripped completely stripped there we go. completely and utterly stripped <laughs> So how long have I been fishing without a bait for? That's always uh, a fun thing to try and guess. Anyway, let's get another one on there and we'll get cast back out. Well, uh, it's all got a little bit quiet for a minute, so I'm um, gonna have to get the lights out on the camera in a minute. You probably can't see much right now. Um, but yeah, we had quite a few bites at the beginning there, but it's um, not been in for a while. Um, bit strange, I've got a bit of squid and a bit of cart on there at the moment, so. Yeah, we'll keep watching this one, see if we uh, can get any more. There's a couple of other guys fishing up there. They've got their lights out now. I'm gonna have to get the tip light on here in a minute and get the light so that you can see what's going on on the camera. <laughs> it's getting pretty cold now though. The wind's picked up a lot. So um, yeah, it's still got a good swell on. Still hoping that we'll get some fish now. We're getting into darkness, but uh, yeah, let's uh, keep a watch on this and see if we can get something else. Literally, just as I turn the camera off there, this guy nailed it, 45 centimeters, this one. So God, it's really hard to see, I'm gonna to have to get the lights out. But yeah, and fish number two, literally just as I turned the camera off, the rod went straight down, circle hook, nice nice in the scissors on the old panel rig. So yeah, get this one dispatched and uh, get another bait out. Oh, right, we've got the lights on. Hopefully you can see a bit better. Let's try and turn that up a little bit. Okay, so I'll show you this uh, other fish, which we just managed to pick up now. Got a bit of light on. It's a bit of a better fish, that one. So that was uh, on squid and cart, that. Nice, good one there. So we've got the tip lights on. We've got another bait back out there. So yeah, it's uh, two fish so far. At least we've got something to take back for a weigh-in. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can get something else. Turn this off and save the batteries for now. On the edge of that uh, lip down there, that one, it was pretty hard to get it up slippy on the rocks. <laughs> Yeah, it's not too bad, that one. Yeah, they're getting bigger, <laughs> slowly. <laughs> they're getting bigger there, so yeah, that was quite a good take, that one. It's been a bit quiet for a little while, but that's a, another good fish. So let's get some more baits on. Um, yeah, another perfect hook up in the scissors, that one. So yeah, get some more baits out there. Uh, yeah, it's been a, a good hour before that bite, so yeah, hopefully they're coming on the feed now, it's uh, got dark. I know you can't see much, but this dot which you can see in the screen just now is the Coast Guard, so I've just pulled my line in for a minute. I don't know exactly what's going on, I hope everyone's okay, but yeah, we've got two 
Coast Guard boats out. There's one which, as I say, is that dot you can see just there. And then there's another one a little bit further up. They've got searchlights on, so yeah, I hope, hope everyone's all right. I can see lots of lights along the coast from the other fishermen, but can't actually see anything. So you can see the, the two dots in the screen now. I can't really turn my lights on. You won't be able to see anything, and I don't want to distract them from what they're doing. But uh, yeah, those two dots is uh, two of the small inshore Coast Guard boats. So I'm just going to pause the fishing for a minute, just let them do what they need to do. I don't want to interfere with whatever they're, whatever they're doing at the moment. But yeah, we're doing all right so far. We're on three fish at the moment. So yeah, hopefully it picks up a little bit more. It's uh, definitely a lot quieter than I wanted it to be in the dark. Anyway, you can't see anything now, so let's uh, turn this off, otherwise it's a bit boring. Yeah, so a bit of excitement there. The Coast Guard was out. Um, I bought that bait in, it hadn't been out for very long, so all I've done is just wrap a couple of uh, black lug on the back of it. Um, yeah, got that good fish a few minutes ago, or about half an hour ago. But yeah, it's gone a bit quiet again now, so hopefully we can get a few more out. What's the time now? It's quarter past six, so we've still got a couple of hours left until uh, cut off time with the comp. Three fish to weigh back in so far, it's better than nothing. But uh, yeah, just depends if anyone else along here is catching anything, that's, that's the key isn't it? None of my fish are that big so I'm definitely uh, banking on uh, a bag limit at the moment as opposed to the biggest fish. But, uh, yeah, anyway, keep fishing, see if we can get something else. Sorry, I'll be back in the shop in a minute. It's a bit hard to get these catches on camera. Ooh over in the rock pools. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to get these on camera because they're just coming, there's nothing, nothing, and then they're just coming. But there's another, another nice one there, about 42 centimetres, that one. So, yeah, another good one to take back. Um, so, just changed up the bait slightly, uh, running, uh, putting a bit of bluey on there now. So, bluey, uh, car, and a bit of squid on that one now. So, yeah, what's the time now? It's seven o'clock now, so just under two hours to go so hopefully we can pull a few more in um, yeah I'd like to try and get a couple more on uh, on camera for you actually catching them but as I say they just it's like nothing for half an hour and then just suddenly bang one bite and then and then it's just dead quiet again so anyway, given that that's how it's going I'm gonna get back to watching this rod because uh, yeah I could miss a bite I don't want that to happen so unfortunately the audio broke on this last clip, but here we go, five fish in total to take back to the weigh-in. Um, so yeah, a good session all in all. Uh, we had bites pretty much every hour, which was good. I missed one pretty decent slack line, which is a shame because I think that probably was going to be quite a good fish, but never mind. Uh, I don't know really what else I was waffling on about here. Something about um, getting hot and sweaty, walking back along the coastal path. So the tackle box and all of the gear weighed an absolute ton, so... Yeah, pretty long walk back, but anyway, good session all in all, so let's go back and see what this bag weighs. So there we go, that's the um, final fish uh, weigh in, I think it was about £9.2 for the total bag. Um, so not sure where it puts me in the results, but we'll find out a little bit later. Definitely not up in the running for the top three, but a good evening out, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's the final total, five fish, £9.12 I think it was, so... Yeah, thanks for joining the, the video and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.